Welcome back to Potentially Criminal. My name's Sean Martin. I'm an attorney in Cleveland, Ohio, and I focus on criminal defense topics. Today we're going to talk about the disaster that occurred for the federal government on Friday. Now, what disaster you might be thinking of? Well, it's a trial against the four kidnap plotters who were alleged to have hatched a plan to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer and spark a civil war and all kinds of other nonsense related to domestic terrorism. But before we get to this point, we need to rewind the clock back to 2020. I'm sure you remember that time, the time of lockdowns and watching Netflix. Well, a couple of guys, mainly Adam Fox, Barry Croft, Daniel Harris, Brandon Caserta, and then two more guys, Caleb Franks and Ty Garbin, well, they weren't happy with that. They weren't happy with the way their governor, Gretchen Whitmer, was doing things. So what did they do? Well, they started talking shit and started talking tough. And then they started LARPing Call of Duty. It was at that point, somebody got scared and like a little girl ran to the police and snitched them out. We'll call that guy Dan C. In response to this information from Dan C, the FBI then began surveilling this group called the Wolverine Watchmen. God, that sounds cringy as fuck anyway, but whatever. Um, and they had 18 people in this group. Guess how many of them were federal agents or informants? If you guess 12, you're correct. 12 out of 18 people involved were feds. Now, was this group some fearsome band of elite warriors ready to take on the world? No, these guys were idiots. They were morons. In fact, the FBI labeled Barry Croft, the group's leader, as a bonehead in code words. And repeatedly stated in their notes... They were concerned these guys had no idea what the hell they were doing and how stupid they were and how out of touch they were in regards to what they wanted to actually make happen. Gee, it sounds like maybe there really isn't somebody to investigate at that point. But no, it's the government. They're going to keep going. Why not? The Constitution means nothing. Let's just antagonize people. Let's take a group of people, let's equip them, advise them, and then possibly entrap them. Because why not? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Wait, back this up. You're trying to tell me the feds help orchestrate terror plots, incubate them, foster them, promote them and equip them, and let them grow big enough that they can then swoop in and crush the terror plots that they help create. It's funny that you bring that up because the FBI does have a long history of doing this, specifically with people trying to rope them into Muslim terror plots. After many, many months of surveillance, in October of 2020, the six of them were arrested for attempting to hatch a plan to kidnap Governor Whitmer, spawn the Civil War, and do all kinds of other stuff I'm not really sure that were related to my terrorism. In the pretrial stage, Caleb Franks took a plea. Ty Garbin also took a plea at this stage. And in exchange for his plea, he agreed to testify against Fox, Croft, Caserta, and Harris. We call that snitching in Ohio. I'm sure you call it snitching where you live too. And in exchange for the snitching, what did Ty Garvin get? Well, he got a 75-month prison sentence, which is just a little over six years. Aside from these guys entering pleas, for the remaining four, their court battle pre-trial revealed quite a few interesting things that happened in this case that really make you scratch your head and go, hmm... I mean, if you can look at that and say, wow, this doesn't seem like a bullshit case, I don't know what to tell you. This past March, the four remaining defendants were tried together. The agents, the informants, and snitch boy Ty all testified that these guys were some evil criminal masterminds, these evil terrorists who were trying to destroy America. Well, thankfully the jury didn't buy into that bullshit. And how do we know? Because... Caserta and Harris were found not guilty of all counts. And then for Fox and Croft, well, the juries were hung. They could not reach a conclusion. They could not reach a verdict. So a mistrial was declared. 
The feds went 0 for 4 on a terrorism case. So for Harris and Caserta, they're free. They get to go home. Their ordeal is over. Two years in jail, and now they get to go home. Yes, they spent that whole time in pretrial custody because they were evil terrorists. Woo! For Fox and Croft, well, they're still in custody and are likely going to be retried. Um, I don't see why the feds would not let that happen and let them get away with it. They're probably going to get retried. I think it's very much in their favor. They will be acquitted, and I really hope they are. As for snitch boy Ty, well, I mean, he turned on his buddies. Half of them walked. Half of them are probably going to walk in the future. And now he's known throughout the country as being a snitch. And now he's got to go serve his prison sentence. I'm sure they're not going to find out about that. So good luck, Ty. I hope you thought it was worth it. Remember, kids, nobody talks, everybody walks. Well, that's it for me, guys. Please, if you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, comments or questions below. Um, the past week or so has been crazy in growth and all of that despite my copy strike from Law and Crime. But don't worry, we'll be back doing the live shows every Thursday night. And if there's trials or anything going on during the week, we'll be trying to get those back up. But for right now, just a couple more days on that copy strike suspension. But until next time, just because you did it doesn't mean you're guilty.